This Intel X15 may be the hero we need for budget gaming laptops. But will the known issues of Intel Arc graphics cards hold it back from being the best option on the market right now? We're gonna open it up and find out after a word from today's sponsor. Attention PC builders, do you wanna save money on your Windows activation? Well, today's video sponsor, GVG Mall, has you covered an awesome online marketplace with game keys and also Windows licenses. It's awesome how easy it is to activate Windows. You literally just buy a key on GVG Mall using code TB20 to get a really good discount and from there you literally copy and paste the key into windows and boom you now have an activated version of windows you can get windows 10 windows 11 and a bunch of other different keys at gvg mall and be sure to use code tb20 on checkout to save money on a windows 10 windows 11 or any other key from gvg mall big thanks again to gvg mall for sponsoring today's video now let's get into it shall we okay guys so um as you see right here this is an intel nook x15 gaming laptop and it's kind of interesting because intel doesn't really make these anymore the nook line is now owned by Asus and well as you can see right here we found this on Amazon for $700 and it actually looks like a good buy with the specs that it comes with. And I'm kind of curious too because it has such new specs I'm like how long ago did Nook get bought out? It was very I thought it was like CES or something they announced that but the, the key specs are a i7-12700H which I believe what is the what is the core count on that that's a 14 core 20 threaded CPU we also have 16 gigs of DR5 memory a one terabyte gen 4 SSD and an ARC 550 mobile GPU Okay, so for the power supply, we actually get an FSP power supply, which is kind of cool to see. And I'm going to guess that it's like 180, but let's figure it out. 180, oh my God, 180 watts. You just I'm knew. good. My man knows his bricks. I just, I just know by the size of the bricks at this point, you know? So 180 watts definitely uses a little bit of power. We now have our laptop. It did come with a sheath, by the way, so that's one thing to to you know, note, um, but the laptop itself, it's actually very durable feeling. It's very durable and also there's like zero branding on it. There's a, this was probably not manufactured by Intel. There's probably some company that did the manufacturing, but it was Intel branded and they put like none of their logos or anything on it. Should I do the thing? I think you should do the peel. All right, let's see if it comes off satisfyingly or not. Ooh, that, ooh that's a good one. Ooh. Yes. I feel like Jonah will appreciate this laptop. This is, Because it's yeah. just very stealthy. It's funny because it's it's so stealthy that you almost have to wonder, you're like, is this one of those like Timu laptops where it's rebranded? Uh, but no, obviously we know it's a pretty name brand laptop from the Intel Nook lineup, which is now, I guess, Asus. We do have, it looks like two cooling fans on each side. I can also see a lot of copper heat pipes going through this thing. We have some rubber feet to kind of keep it a little raised so you don't suffocate it. But let's go ahead and go over some of the ports, guys. Right side of the laptop, we have have a USB-C Thunderbolt port. We have one USB 3.2 port. We have an HDMI out. We have our charging port. We don't have any ports in the back. And then on the left side, we have a Kingsington lock. We have a full-size Ethernet port, two more USB 3.2s, and then a combo headphone jack. Not bad for ports. And again, if we didn't mention at the beginning of this video, this laptop is $699. And with that A550M, we're trying to see if Intel can compete with something like the RTX 3050 in terms of GPU horsepower. More peel. More peel, more, more peel. peel. Don't worry, Jonah. I'll get the peel off for you. Ooh, this is some, man, I'll tell you what, you guys really did yourselves good on the peel. But yeah, this is a, again, very basic looking laptop. If you're looking for something very gamery, this probably isn't it for you, but I should have a backlit keyboard. Yeah, we get a pretty good sized mouse pad too. And this is something that I never realize people think about, but I know some people wonder where the actual mouse pad is because a lot of times they're putting them on the right. Now this one's actually kind of centered, which- Mouse pad? Mouse pad, touch pad, you know. Yeah, so it's got the Intel purple backlit keyboard. And um, obviously we have stuff preloaded to save time a little bit on this laptop. And that display, as you can see, looks absolutely great. It's a 15.6 inch 1080p 144 hertz display and uh yeah that's kind of a standard we would expect on a laptop at this price point nowadays all right let's go ahead and check all of our specs and make sure they're accurate an i7 12700h which is a 14 core 20 thread we are using all of that and that has a base speed of 2.3 gigahertz 16 gigs of ram wow Look at them, they're so smart. It actually has two of two at 4,800 megahertz, and that means we have two 8-gig sticks, and they're SODIMM and they're DDR5. We have a Kingston SNV2S1000G, which is a one terabyte Gen 4 NVMe SSD. And then of course, really the only thing that's you could call questionable in this build that a lot of people probably have no clue about is this Intel Arc A550M, 
which looks like it has eight gigs of dedicated VRAM. So yeah, at the end of the day, if the A550M performs close to a 3050, this is a really good value. But at the very least, even if it's like a 1650 or 2050 level, the CPU you're getting in this thing for $700 with a very nice screen, very solid build quality will make this a really awesome work laptop, let alone a gaming laptop. It's very versatile. But of course here at the Toasty Bros, we gotta play some games on it. We're gonna launch the game, see what it can do, and see if these Intel gaming laptops are the king or the hero one might say, a bunch of gaming laptops right now. Fly away! Ah. All right, guys, we're playing the finals on this laptop. This thing has some loud speakers to it. I can barely hear myself think. We are currently running some lower settings at 1080p so that we can try to get some of the highest frame rate possible. We are using Intel XESS, and we're, uh, we're trying another new mode in this. So right now we're, we're getting about 60 FPS, definitely not fully taking advantage of our high refresh rate screen, but I mean, hey, it's playable. Oh god. Uh, other than that stutter. It's playable, but it's definitely feeling like Intel Arc. Yeah, for sure. We're like, some games it might do, I'm gonna turn this down, holy crap. <laughs> some games it might do like amazing in, and other games it might kind of do marginally good. Yeah, these speakers are really impressive. I gotta give them that. Why am I, oh, I got flashbang. Oh, let's go. I was like, what the heck is this? Oh, we almost Ooh. got him. Okay, 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 like okay, a okay, 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 <clears throat> oh my god. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and change this to performance, which I don't think, is there anything lower? Ultra quality, quality, yeah, performance. All performance right. is the lowest, yeah. Performance, so basically at this point, with, with Intel's upscaling, uh, we're at the, the lowest possible settings we can go, and I think that actually bought us like 10 more FPS. Will it help me hit my shots though? I don't know. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh no. You know what? <clears throat> we got nothing to lose, right? Oh, yeah, this is gonna be clutch. Oh! oh! Oh, we got a guy throwing some grenades. Whoa, whoa! Oh no! The aliens are coming. The birds, their cameras. The ship's it, like floating, It, it feels dude. odd. No, we're so high up right now. Oh my, oh. Oh my good golly Jesus. Yeah! Yeah! No! Eliminated! No! Well, I mean, hey. We didn't win the finals, but I'd say this laptop so far for the price, I'd say it's winning. All right, guys, we are now in Fortnite DX12 on uh, far view distance, low textures, everything's low across the board, and we'll see what we end up getting. But uh, so far, I will say this laptop just feels like a traditional Intel Arc experience, it's probably the best way I can say it. Yeah, or, or like, I feel like if someone just handed me this laptop blind and said like, guess the specs, I would almost say like, I'd almost say the classic like 5800H with like um, like a 2050. Feels like very 2050 that. like instead of 3050. I know with the 8 gigs of VRAM and everything, they're probably trying to target 3050, but it, I feel like it's more of a 2050, which we have seen laptops with these specs at that price range, but it's still really smooth. I'll give it, cre give it credit with the fact that this screen is really nice. Yeah. So everything that's like put into this laptop is very nice. It's just the GPU might not be like perfect for gaming. They Panic did not stop breaking. Oh yeah, switch up on him. Switch up on him. Oh. How close quarters do I need to be? Oh. Oh, he's on to you, dude. He knows you. Oh. He knows you're falling. Oh my god, look, he's running. Oh, there's someone else shooting. What? Ooh. That was that a real. A that, that was a real a gamer. I should have my up close and personal gun ready to go. <laughs> it was fine. Definitely in these moments right here, we're only getting like 70 to 80 FPS on performance settings. That's not amazing. We're definitely held back by that GPU. But if you get this laptop for the value of getting the CPU for things like content creation, with a little bit of gaming on the side, I think this is a good alternative to those 3050 laptops with much lesser CPU. So we're gonna test some other games, run through them our time spy, see what our score is, and then uh, determine if this laptop is actually worth the money. All right, guys, we just got done benchmarking our Intel Arc laptop, and it actually performed pretty well. But what we really liked about it was the build quality, the RGB keyboard, and the fact that it has a really nice display. And that CPU, that i7 12700H, makes this a really good work and productivity laptop. And that A550M is capable enough to play games at 60 FPS low settings. We had to test it in 3D Mar time spy. We ended up with a score of 5,742, which is only 12 cents per point, kind of expected with this budget GPU and well, high-end CPU combo. The CPU definitely carried in that benchmark. And as you can see in games like Halo Infinite, this A550M is not adequate for it on low settings, only getting about 30 to 40 FPS. So 
All in all, we think this is a good laptop for those who put work and productivity first and gaming second and want some gaming on the side. But if you're primarily a gamer, you might want to look at some 3050 alternatives with lesser CPUs from the likes of Gigabyte or Lenovo and some other ones like that. And we'll leave some suggestions down below along with this laptop, which will be an affiliate link and it will help us out. Let us know what you think of this X15 laptop and do you like it for a budget gaming laptop for your next upgrade? So as always guys, we hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash toasty bros and do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Bye bye. This laptop right here will be for sale at PCBros.tech because yes, we do have gaming laptops as well as desktops. Gaming desktops, gaming laptops, and so much more over at PCBros.tech. Use code ToastyBros2 on checkout. You'll save 2% on your purchase of this laptop if it's still there or a gaming PC. See you guys later. Goodbye. Peace.